Ladies and gentlemen, we are delighted today for UBL and for uh, Gorman Boxing to have in our midst one of the legends of boxing, the best trilogy probably ever, arguably, to happen in the world with Arturo Gatti. Please give it up for the amazing Irish Mickey Ward! Okay, so it's just 12 rounds in the... Uh, oh. in the <laughs> so how's your day been? I'm not. So how's your day been? It's good. Yeah, you just come up from London to yeah, see we us? Yeah, we big, big accident. I don't know if it was an accident or what, but it was all stopped. Okay. You know it was a bad one, people are getting out of their cars. Oh, yeah. And no one ever in the history of getting out of cars has ever seen anything. <laughs> All right, What's Jerry. That? Right, lads, I'm going to hold a few pads for a couple of minutes. Mickey's going to get in watch and just have a little boxing talk and stuff. So we'll do a few bits of photos and stuff afterwards, yeah? Brilliant. Awesome. Hey, nice to meet you, Mickey. Thank, Thank you, mate. Thank you. Great to see you, man. Yeah, and still champion. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We've just been watching you on there. You you hardly look at a day older. What's that? What, what? Do, do, do it, really? <laughs> Camera does wonders. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so if we want to come over, come over to the, the ring. Guys, just make sure you're giving plenty of space. And, um... Yeah, get out. Stay to the end. Get off. 
Come off on an angle, not straight back. Straight back, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come off on an angle. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Speaks on what? Personally, now this is just me personally. He's a great fighter, great champion, great everything. Uh, what do you need? What more do you need? Seriously, you're not gonna go no higher than you once were. Mm. You know what I mean? It's all you can do now is get hurt. Yeah, I mean, you, you don't get better as you get older. Believe me. <laughs> Maybe when you're in your 20s and 30s, you might get a little better, right? But after that. You know what I mean? Uh, but if you want to do it, you, you can't tell him not to because, you know, it's him. He can do whatever he wants, but I don't think it's a good idea. Me, personally, but that's just me. It is. If you fight for the same thing, it's like the Hollywood talking about having another one in your Oh, yeah, it's nuts. You're John's junior. Yeah, for what? what? What the hell you want to keep fighting for? <clears throat> well, I'll tell you one thing. That's what they say. That's what, that's what it's about. But I would rather have nothing and be able to work and enjoy my life with my family and have everything and be a vegetable. True, yeah. And you're one punch away at that age and stuff. And if you, one punch, I'd rather be a punch too early than a punch too late or a fight too early or a fight too late. What good is all the money in the world if you can't enjoy it? You know, like, what good is that? Yeah. 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 Health. For one more fight, health is everything. I mean, it might be kind of cliche. Oh yeah, health is everything. Oh so yeah, bullshit, I have the money. But if you don't have your health, what can you do with money? How can you make money without your health? All the money in the world, if you have, and you're not healthy, how can you enjoy it? You got a question just to get Sh- Shane. Yeah. How many amateur points do you have? Amateur, probably 60. 60. Yeah. And then you went pro. Yeah. I fought when I was like 7 till I was <clears throat> 37. What was your most memorable pro for? Most memorable pro, probably, uh, probably Gaddy, the first yeah. one, and Shane Neary over here. Because coming over in a different country, winning it. 
over here, and I mean, it was it was a, it was a tough fight, you know, but it was so fun. Mm -hmm. It was nice. Yeah. It was fun. Who was your inspiration when you was still fighting as a pro? Who was who inspired you as well? No, no, I don't know. I never looked at no one like that inspired me. I just... You admire, look at somebody and say, that person is awesome, that person has got so much talent. Yeah, I mean, there was guys like Marvin Hagler from, from my hometown, or back near where I live. Marvin Hagler was from your hometown? Yeah, well, he's like a house. So he 40 minutes Tony Simpson, who was from yeah. my hometown, yeah. Leicester, yeah. 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 from the World Championship. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm from yeah. Ireland as well. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so Marvin was a big fighter, uh, but I don't know, I, I was younger, I boxed since I was seven, but baseball and football, like American football, and wrestling, and, like, and stuff like that, I like even better, and boxing at, younger, at young age, then as I got more and more into boxing, that became my, my love, <clears throat> but uh, when I was really, I really didn't have anything to inspire me, I just did it here. I wanted to win, so I just did it. I could have trained high, as hard as with my brother there than without my brother there. And some people need that motivation, someone there to push them. Let's go, let's go, because they get lazy. I never need. I didn't need that. I had my own motivation. I trained as hard by myself as if I did. She was there. I was there. Yeah. Yeah, I was there. I was 12 years old. Yeah. Everybody was hammered too. Everybody was drunk fighting, I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't change. <laughs> yeah. Was, was there anybody in your career like who, who you never boxed, who you wish you would have boxed? No. There was nobody like? No. No, I just look at it like I just fought, I, I fought my ass off. Yeah. And that was it. But was, I mean, was there anybody I never wanted to fight no one I didn't fight, no, I don't. Was at, that, at him, would you ever need to fight him? Mm -hmm. You both had the same belt, you ever again? But yeah, well, he's, yeah. I, 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 um, when I, after I left the WBU or whatever that title, he fought for it. Oh, he fought for it, yes. Yeah, so yeah, he, ha he had the years. belt and then I, uh, they took it because I, I fought Antonio Diaz on HBO and uh, so I didn't fight for them, yeah. I guess, and they took it. They took, they took the belt, yeah. And then Mickey won. Yeah. I read an article about Stab Judah. Yeah. Amazing fight. And you interviewed him for like 20 when he fought was, was he still your toughest fight to this day? Zab Judah? Oh, he was, I don't know, my toughest, but yeah. he was my, one of the probably fastest I ever fought. Yeah. yeah. And he was young in his career, too, that's and that's, mean, when he, yeah. that's when he moved, that's and that's when he fought. Yeah. Wow! He was about 20. Oh, wow, wow. Yeah, 20. Was like, he signed, I was like, slow down, will you? <laughs> 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 wow, 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 wow. Like, wow. I was getting dizzy following him. <laughs> Uh, it was so fast I couldn't cut the ring off on him. Man. What the hell? But, you know, I lost the decision. But I, you know, I gave him my all and that's all, man. Who was your toughest fight? Who was your toughest fight? My toughest, probably Gaddy. Or, uh, Toro was most definitely one of them. Another guy, Emmanuel Augustus. Oh, 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 yeah, drunken master is right. He can, he can fight. I don't care what anybody says. He was on the probably one of the probably toughest best fights ever fought. And his record wasn't then show him. Floyd Mayweather to this day said it was his top one of his toughest fights. And for him to say that, you know, he's fought everybody. For him to say that, uh, he's very underrated. Yeah. Because he used to fight like years ago, like just um, take fights on a two days notice and. And it still gave everybody a hard time. He was a tough, tough kid, hard fight. Who was someone like him in America? Loads of different fans. You never found anyone like Delaware or anyone like that? No, like that? he's on the West Coast, California. I'm in Boston. It's like by plane six hours. So oh, yeah, long, long. Yeah, long, long. Yeah, really. <laughs> well, like that. Any more no. Any more questions? Well, in the amateurs and stuff, you go to the Olympic Training Center and, and stuff like that, but. Um, Everybody's here from different, yeah, different yeah. parts of the country. And uh, you know, I never spot them. Yeah. Uh, who's your money on with the Joshua rematch? Well, if he fair that, that was crazy, that fight. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. If Ruiz is, I mean, Ruiz is just, he's tough. He's just non-stop tough. You know what I mean? Uh, he's Mexican. Yeah, he's <laughs> Mexican, but still, 
he has to fight. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he has to. I don't know. He's got to give him more. I think. Yeah, I mean, it would be. You got to just got to go in and you got to live up. You got to. Uh, that's only my personal opinion, but you got to kill yourself. I mean, you got to die in that one. I mean, no mind stopping or saying I hurt this. What was it like? You got to fight through that stuff. I don't care why. It's mental. Yeah. Yeah. What was it like, Mickey, mentally when you? Fought? But he's got to like. He's got to. He's got to get in good shape. But I mean, the, the, the both lost a lot of weight. You think he should have just kept that weight? He did good in the first fight. He should have just kept that weight instead of losing. Who's that? Reese. He's dropped a little weight, hasn't he? Yeah, Trump, yeah. Trump, did he really? He should have kept the weight. Yeah, that's the way he. Yeah. He needs that because he's small. He needs that weight, even, and he's fast at that weight. Yeah, yeah. Very. You know, uh, draining yourself, being a heavyweight, draining down. That went up a good thing, Joshua. He's gonna be ready this time though. Like, He's sponsored by more super ready. <laughs> but it's in if he gets to get in his head that he got beat the first one, yeah, that, yeah, that yeah, might yeah. be who. You know, you gotta be like timid a little bit. You, know, you won't take those chances like you would if you were confident. So it depends on how we as mental. When when you got Psycho Toro, I was saying how like physically it was tough for you. Like what was it like mentally? Like hitting him with them body shots, two famous body shots, he got back up. And then even the, the extra fights, what was it like when you were thinking training after getting conditioned and your game plans going into the second fights and stuff? Right. And mentally when you was into the late rounds, what, what was it like? I was just, uh, yeah, it's always the same pretty much for me. I just fight my, my butt off, you know what I mean? Get in great shape. The second one, I always had the first one was so tough, and the second one I knew was going to be as, as tough. But it ended up turning harder for me because I got hit. Knocked down his third round, he got hit on the ear here. Yep. I was out of it the whole fight. That's no excuse. But I was out of it, and I, he, he kept me pretty good that fight. And the third one was another war. Yeah. Well, what, that was and, the, uh, the third one? Good fight. Third one, yeah, yeah. yeah um, he, 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 hit, he, hit he broke his hand on my hip, yeah. And I ended up knocking him down in the sixth round. And then I was, after the sixth round, I knocked him down. And usually when you knock someone down, you come out the seventh round fast because yeah. You think you'll still be hurt a little bit? Well, I come off the seventh round, my legs were like, I got knocked down, I had nothing. I just got old in that one, mm. boom. I bet it took nothing. some time to recover yeah. after the fight. Oh yeah, I'm still recovering. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But, uh, <laughs> no, it took a while. Why did I, I got, what happened was in the eighth round, I get hit so hard in the top of the head, my brain shifted in my skull, yeah. and my, my eyes were not double. I was seeing double from like this eighth, seventh, eighth round on, and uh, I had to get surgery and double eye surgery a year later. So I wouldn't see double no more. I had to cut here, cut there, and no, I had to cut here, cut there, and oh, okay. go in and pull up. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, like, it's, it's, it's like a double question. How much involvement did you have in the film The Fighter? And is there going to be a part two and a part three? Right. Well, I know, hopefully it's a part two or three. I don't think so, but. No? But uh, I had a lot to say. Well, I had a lot to say about the boxing stuff. They, the first fight, I mean the first fight, the first movie, the, you know, the fight over one there. Yeah. I was on set a lot. You know, I went to Mark's house and stuff, me and Dickie to uh, watch Mark and yeah. stuff, train. Like, to get the uh, mannerisms and stuff, Dickie, yeah. Christian Bale was there and yeah. Mark. And we were there like, for like maybe uh, three weeks or so. Just to, you know, I had a lot of say in the boxing part. Once they got the uh, script and you know, the acting stuff. I'm no actor, so I can't tell them how to act, but, but I could sure see if the thing is way out of place or something like that. If there was like something that didn't happen in the fight and they put in, I'd be like, no, 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 you can't go that crazy, you know, that didn't happen. Or this did happen or whatever, so. I mean, in the, they're saying it. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, you know. Hopefully it's soon. It's part of the story, isn't it? Really? Yeah, and that was the biggest part of my career is, yeah. is that, but the moral of the first story was about two brothers, it was about family, brothers, and the crazy sisters, and yeah. you know what I mean? And, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know about them. Yeah, so, so but they know. left the best part out, so hopefully. You yeah. yeah. should know, I am a full-time actor, I am available. For, oh yeah, for, all for right. <laughs> You can be the cut man. Yeah, yeah, sure. L. Gavin. Some more questions. <laughs> this this young man, this young man's been waiting down here. You want to ask a question? Do you want to ask a question? Yeah? Okay. What was your toughest fight? My toughest? Ah, <laughs> uh, Gaddy, my total Gaddy might have been one of my toughest. And Emmanuel Augustus. I had so many tough ones. Uh, oh. A lot. A lot of them. They all were tough. They were all tough. <laughs> <laughs> you got any, you got any advice for someone starting out in the pro career? 
Yeah. If you don't, <laughs> if you don't go 150 percent, you just leave fast profile. Don't even do it because you, it's a hurt sport. Yeah. And you win the fight right here. Obviously, you win it out there. You know, obviously, but the hours you train here is where you win it. And it's, it, it, you win it right here too. You get ears listening and watching and being smart. And you, every time out, you gotta be willing to give up. I don't care if you cut, broken nose, bullshit. It don't matter. You gotta keep fighting. You, you can go the next day to recover. Did you learn about your rap and your brother? Not a drink. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> 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 no, I didn't. No, I did, no, yeah. Seriously. Yeah. He, uh, he taught me pretty much everything that I, um, that, I, that I knew. Obviously, some things I picked up from watching out. See, that's the thing is, you can be in the gym watching kids fight. Kids you don't even know that can fight or, or pros or like, or like semi-pros or whatever. You can pick little things up off everybody. You know what I mean? You just watch things and you might pick something small off someone. It's like a puzzle box. Yeah, yeah. Take this off this one, that one off that one. You get you. And the best thing is, uh, is mirror. Having a mirror. Yeah. Seriously. And you, you look at the mirror, you watch yourself. You watch yourself when you punch, make sure you're not out of place. You know what I mean? Your head movement, you make sure you slide over here, slide back. You know what I mean? You can see every you look in there. That's your best friend though. There's a mirror, I'm telling you. you. Get a mirror and you'll watch it. You spend a lot of time in it. Yeah. You've got um, Andre Ward alternating the contenders. So right. that's just low enough. Do you think that's a good thing to bring on boxes? Do you bring the fame back into it? Rather yeah, than I mean, the it, UFC and the wrestling. Right, yeah. I mean, yeah. It, it doesn't hurt, you know what I mean? Uh, it shows like a different side of fighters. That's what it's about. Is uh, It shows like how they live with the family and yeah. the family's calm and what the fighters go through and stuff to a small extent. So it was pretty good, you know. They, people get to see how fighters are like in the gym, outside the gym with their family a little bit and before the fight, after the fight. So it gives you, you more of a, it gives you more of a like a, you know, the fighter more. Yeah. Have you been involved with the community? I was uh, I was gonna be involved with it, but it never it never happened. Well, last question, John. We are Nicky, nice to meet you. I uh, just hey. saw Shaq on the class there. It's quite a slick set of What would your game plan have been if you were uh, against him in a fight? What's that? What would your game plan be against someone like Shaq? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's got a. He said uh, he just saw Sha <laughs> hey, Shaq in the gym. He's not so fast. In the ring. <laughs> <laughs> let me, let me ask again. Fight? Let me ask again. So, if you was to fight Shaq, you just saw him on the pads. Obviously, he's inexperienced. You're coming through. What would your game plan be against him? Which one is it? Okay, Shaq at the back there. Oh, Shaq. Yeah. He's a southpaw. I thought he was a Very basketball player. Shaq over here. Yeah. If you box something like that, what would your game plan be? He's a southpaw. Yeah, I would have. Basically looking for a I would, I would go to his his jab in here and I'd keep going that way, away from his um, power punch. And I would just try to get inside that jab and then get inside and break him down, hopefully. But yeah, he has long, good range though. His, his best punch is that jab. Especially for him. Do you rate today's waterweights? What's that? Do you rate today's waterweights? Do you think today's waterweights are good? Today's oh, welterweights. Oh, well. <laughs> I can, that's not like it. That's all right. <laughs> yeah. Good. Welterweights today are really good. You think you'd be a champion in today's waterweights? I was a junior welterweight, but I don't know, it's hard. I mean,. I would, any fighter would say that, yeah, I would uh, yeah. like to be, or I would. I think I could compete with him. Anybody at 140, I could probably compete with. But I mean, there's guys again. There's guys that are that are really super fast, super strong. You know, things of everything. Boxing just the guys get bigger, faster, strong almost every all the time. You know what I mean? So could I compete with him? Most definitely. Could I beat him? Who knows? But I give him my. I know one thing. I beat him at the end. <laughs> Or well, at least if I could get out, if I went down. What, what age do you reckon you was when you was at your best in your career? What, what age were you at your peak? You think? What age? Yeah. No word of a lie. 34, 35. 34, 35. Mm. That's my best I ever fought. Yeah. The end of my career. 34. So 36, 37, when I fought the Addy, it probably my best too. And then the next fight, I was in my work. But uh, no, I, 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 I uh, matured later on in life and fight. So what, what do you think? I didn't have the I didn't have like the confidence in my ability when I was in my twenties. Mm -hmm. I just for some reason I was always second guessing myself. Mm -hmm. 
So I just, why don't they let my hands go? I was like, well, worried about it. What if this happened and that? That's why you can never put in your mind. You just got to stay positive. So was it purely endurance and experience that when you were 34, you had the confidence to go out there and really Yes, the and, and I realized I had a good chin. I, it, it, most definitely. Mm. Well, then, last question. Well, a pleasure to meet you, sir. Um, just one for the, the young lads in the gym and people new to boxing. What are the three qualities that that you think a boxer really needs to make a success for themselves in this sport? You've got to have determination, you've got to have your dedication. Determination, dedication, and probably a cliche of a desire to like, get in there, fight, win. Because, it, like I said earlier, it's uh, boxing is it's not a sport, it's not a game. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Boxing is not a game, you don't play boxing. You can get hurt in there, you know what I mean? It's, it's a serious sport, you know? At any level, you don't know, you get hit in the head, whatever, you know? Yeah. Mm. Uh, but, that's the chance you take, but uh, I'd say those three things. But, Let's give it up for Mickey, Let's give him a round of applause.